and let the people say amen. You're going to find out the significance of that. I am here in Mrs. Thelma Warner's prayer garden. And the importance of that is that this is the place that she gets her inspiration as we go on her journey with her. She takes us to another realm in her life. We know her as the florist from Jamaica, but now Mrs. Warner is now known as the visual artist. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. This is the Culture Zone. The customs, the practice, the language, the beliefs, the religion, the style in fashion, the food, and of course the performing arts. Welcome to the Culture Zone. The Culture Zone is brought to you by Danvers Nursing Institute. Are you struggling in your nursing courses? Do you want to be successful on your exit exam? Do you want to pass the NCLEX? Then let Danvers Nursing Institute help you get prepared. Our affordable courses are designed to assist nursing students in understanding difficult concepts and passing their exams. Our courses are designed in micro video lecture format. Micro video lecture are short video recordings on a specific topic. The benefits of the micro video lectures are, one, can be watched and listened to at any time and anywhere. Two, nursing students can rewatch the recording as many times as they would like. Three, one topic or concept is covered at a time making it easier to grasp the information. In addition to the micro video lectures, you will have NCLEX style questions with rationale to evaluate your understanding of the content. Sign up now for only $49.99 a month. www.danversnursinginstitute.com <laughs> Oh my goodness, I could not complete this session without showing you what mesmerized me as I got into this gallery for a lack of a better term. Listen to me, what a wonderful lady, but I'll talk some more about that later. Look at what I saw. Now, I am no artist by any stretch of the imagination, but let me tell you something. I know good things when I see it. Look at this beautiful collage of colors. Things are going on. Mrs. Warner undoubtedly will explain to me what the effect is, but for me, it's stunning, amazing. Then when I walked over here and see this vase, we call it vase of Jamaica, vase of flowers, vase, but we call it vase. Look how it's beautiful, capturing the flowers as though it really has sit down for my dining table. Oh, then look, <laughs> things just going on, things just going on. All different colors of the rainbow just dancing on the canvas. You know, it really gives me a little feel like I want to really carry on a bit. That's what it is. Vibrant, vibrant, vibrant. Come now. <laughs> Look down here. Let me just stoop and bring it up a little bit. Look, please. Hallelujah to the Father. My mother said to the Lamb. Look at this. It looks like a small village of some sort where you have people in... Mrs. Warner, okay. come and tell me what's going on sure, here. Sure, it is a village. It's an African <laughs> village. But what I noticed about it, it was only the women who were working. Ah. So I said, why are women working? Where are the men? And I said, oh, the men are out hunting and the women are taking the water to the village. And if you notice them, they're all so nice to dress. You would believe they're going to a party or a ball, but that's how they spend rich African heritage. And this is done with, as we say, 100% cotton mm -hmm. and embedded on the canvas. Beautiful. Forever. Let me replace this, my love, yes, back where easily. I found it. Beautiful. Thank now, you. this one could have missed me. Birds of paradise. I know that long time because we have a beautiful arrangement. Ah, oh, stop it. Was that the inspiration? No. Yes. <laughs> I would say no, I should change and say no. I got this inspiration and I tried with it for a week. It went into 10 days and it couldn't get to where I wanted. And I said, Lord, remember now I'm inspired. Lord, if I could just find the bird of paradise. I went into my garden, which is a little crowded, and there was a bird of paradise <laughs> blooming for the family. So I was so thrilled. I took it, I put it beside it. Remembering now, there are 70 different species of birds of paradise. Mm -hmm. So I think I did a lovely job. Absolutely. I love it. A phenomenal I job. It. Beautiful. I Vibrant yes. is the word that yes. keeps coming back to me. Oh. What, pray tell, do we have here? Just a bowl of white patience. You know, we have impatience in different colors. Yes. So this is white. And beside it is the gold. Ah. 
loving it all around, loving yeah, it all around. And I know your passion for flowers and your love for flowers never dies. Still come and evoke and is awakened. Beautiful African art here. It looks like fans, it looks like leaves. Tell me a little bit about that. This is what I describe as upward mobility. If you notice, we start here a little smaller, then we climb, and it tells us that we can always climb the mountain as Africans, and, and we'll get to the top. Honoring your ancestors yeah. and telling our people that there is hope, there is hope in the painting. In the midst of struggle. That is amazing. Loving it all around. This is absolutely beautiful. Mrs. Warner in all her glory. Yes! I think we've just about captured it all. Ah, wonderful, isn't it? I am sitting in the garden of Mrs. Warner. Oh, I am loving it. Beautiful day, beautiful day. And with a lovely lady. Mrs. Warner, what a yeah. pleasure to sit here with you. Mrs. Thelma Warner. Oh, people will remember that name from Jamaica. Don't tell them where we are now. But talk to me a little bit about what you used to do back home. Well, I think I was a florist from before I was born. Because from a, a child, I remember getting little tins and little boxes and planting flowers all over the house and decorating. And um, it just came on me quite gradually. I'd go to people's houses. In those days, we used to have a lot of silk arrangements. Mm. Everybody would have one, two, three. And I'd go to their houses and say, can I just fix your arrangement for you? Free of charge, and I did. And it got into me as a passion. It was Thelma, you could do this. So how this started, I worked at a place in Montego Bay where we had 13 secretaries. And in due respect to a secretary, they are really great, but they can be very choosy, picky, hard to please. I was not a florist. But my boss, when they were having um, business meetings, I put a beautiful bouquet on the table. And he said to me, Thelma, the secretary's day coming, and I want you to do the bouquets for the secretaries. So I didn't hear him. So I said, what was that, sir? He said, I want you to do I said, OK. I didn't even tell him I wasn't a florist. I yes. said, OK. So I went, I bought the flowers, I bought the vases, I took them home. That is the two days before secretary's day. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, I could not get a design coming. And I started to cry. And they said, crying is not the solution. Let me call up a florist and let them do the 13 bouquets, send them to the office, and nobody will know I did. And I said, no, <laughs> second thought. So my mother was living at the same time. And we went into the bedroom, and I threw myself on the bed. I remember it right now. And the two of us cried and prayed. And I'm telling you, I got up out of that bed, and I did the 13 bouquets. <laughs> To their satisfaction. I give God thanks for that. <laughs> so that was actually my start. So I opened this floral business now and I said, okay, I want to have a flower shop, but I wanted to have a bridal effect, a bridal tone. So I went to Kingston and bought this mannequin, had it in my living room, called my closest friends. I said, look what Thelma is going to do. I'm going to open a flower shop, but it's going to have a wedding fair. And I was expecting a response, I said, go girl! Mm -hmm. But you could see it in their eyes. We always knew she was crazy, but no. She over the line. Mm -hmm. over the line. But I learned that my vision is not your vision. And I was getting the vision that I would be opening a wedding shop. What ambiance. Ah, I can even hear your wind chimes. Oh, I don't want to leave. Beautiful. But listen, having done all of that, now tell me, when did you decide to transition into the visual arts? As a matter of fact, I did not decide. <laughs> it was thrown at me. Um, I can remember in August 2019, I visited with some former neighbors of mine, and the wife and husband were sitting at the table, painting some rocks, and I was giving them compliments and having a good time with them. When I was leaving, the wife said, Oh, Miss Thelma, take this rock and go paint. I said, who is she talking to? Anyhow, to be very cordial, I thanked her, took it, came home, I said, no, this is no way I'm going to paint in the rocks. But by the following day, I said, let me try this thing. I loved it. 
I worked with it. And then it grew now, Sophia, from doing rocks to doing anything that came across me. I would do my shoes, I would do glassware. I just started painting. A matter of fact, at nights, I would dream or visualize something that I made. I was to going to paint. ask you what was your inspiration, that but go on, it. go on. And then, yes. if I couldn't get up to do the full thing, I would make a note. I have a little card by my bedside. I do a sketch, and the next morning, it would be the first thing on my heart to just get it done. Amazing. Yes, I think you. that's divine. I think you had no idea, and that then just come to you in terms of moving into another direction with the right. art. Yeah. It's a gift. It it's is. a gift. It's a gift from God. It is. Appreciate it. But then the following, up, following on that, I said, oh, well, let me try canvases. And I had an absolute delight with working on canvas because it allows you to go a little deeper a little further you get more um inspiration as you spread your paint and and go along so i started painting on canvases as well of course as the the other mediums which is glassware and ceramics and any whatever. surface you can Anything. find and if you and know, if put you're on my foot careful, good, you're paying me you. <laughs> So Trudy commissioned me to do a painting for an artist. That's what I've got about. I'm 82 years old and fabulous. Oh, yeah. The most senior person in this room, mm -hmm. but I'm the youngest artist. In 2019, I was divinely gifted with that. Wow. And so Trudy had confidence in me that I could portray this for her. Wow. So my darling, it, I'm Good. extremely happy and proud to be able to do this presentation to my awesome. daughter, Judy. Oh, Mrs. Thank Warner, you. that's amazing. And yes. I want you to tell my viewers what age you decide for transition, because I didn't even get to that point. 82. Hallelujah! You 82. Make it. <laughs> 80 plus 2. Not 70, not 80, 82. And I'm blessed because I have good vision. My hands are still steady. Yeah, I can I can do it. Oh With my. God's help, of course. No, I decided now so bad that I would go mostly in canvases. Yes, you're sticking with canvases. I'm sticking with, yes. I'm sticking with canvases, but I'm not eliminating any other Any other paint. surface. Yes. <laughs> as long as I can take a brush and some paint. There we go. Oh, that is If you look amazing. around my garden, you can see objects that I have done. So I also do outdoor, outdoor work. Outdoor work. This is and amazing. Then now, I said, but wait, I'm doing so many pieces because remember now, there was something propelling me. I just couldn't stop painting. Mm -hmm. So I said, look, you Lord, would you allow me since I'm 80 years old to do 80 pieces? Because somehow I got the idea that I could do an exhibition, I could do a sale, I could do a showing. And I did 80 pieces. Now, let me discriminate. Not 80 canvases, but between the rocks and the glassware and the Any ceramics, painted surface. Everything, total, total 80. 80. Pieces and then on of the, art. There we go. <laughs> on the 24th of October, I had a showing, yes. a grand showing at my house, in the house and on the patio and in the garden. Friends came by, my church family, my church leaders came by and blessed. And here we are going from strength to strength. And I regard this area where we sit as my prayer garden. I wanted to ask you about that because I really feel this calm and this and a this calm is and serenity a now. Serenity now. Yes. And so is portrayed into the art that I do. Yes. It's inspirational and it's it's a depth. Yes. When you look at one of my pieces, someone will say, Oh, oh this is what I see here. And showing it to another person. Oh, yes. but this is what I see. Yes. So there's a combination of inspiration and spirituality. The this is amazing. And I'm grateful for that gifting. And I know so you're a woman of gratitude and you're constantly said grateful and that is great. And I'm so grateful. happy and thankful that you have decided to sit down with us right here oh, again. Oh, please, because how would I do Jason. without you, girl? <laughs> no, your story has to be told wide and far. Really, really amazing. And when I listen to you, I realize that, you know, young people don't have nothing to complain about. Listen, you make it look like yeah, they're not trying to. <laughs> But it's amazing. So with all that, Mrs. Warner, what's next? I think I want to get formally trained because right now 
Um, I'm not belittling the gift that God has given me, but there's always more and better and higher. Never so stop. I'm going to go for that. You're going I'm off going to now go to that. go formalize yes, this. Ma'am. You I'm hear using it? the gift that I was given <laughs> as a seed. Yes. yes and I'm You're go not buried at, at all. Wonderful. I'm the newest artist around, but I do teach floral arrangements because we have I've done that for 35 years. Right, so. as we talked about. As a yes. matter of fact, I was also divinely gifted for that. I would think and so. And when I was living in Jamaica, I decided to have this flower business and I came to the United States to get formally um, certified. And the woman who was assigned to teach me at the school, I was doing better work than she was doing. So I said, okay, bye-bye, yes. Jamaica, here I come. Yes. With my money back in my pocket. Wonderful. So Story. God is kind. God is good. Story is amazing is and inspiration to all. And I'm just so, I'm feeling so blessed sitting in this beautiful yeah. garden here. And I just love, love the ambience. The breeze is beautiful. The chimes are lovely. And, and you are birds, just as delightful. You the Hello, I saw a little flutter earlier. Something just passed me. But listen, you are a charm and a delight, as colorful as it comes and beautiful. Thank you so much for your spirit. Thank you for your warmth. And keep on being a delight to the world. Thank Mrs. Warner, you, thank I'm you. gonna have to show the paintings to my audience. So walk with me now. Yeah, we'll do. We'll do. This is one of my favorite pieces. Actually, it's a mandala and it's a mosaic. Mosaic means it's a hundred percent cotton embedded on the canvas um, to show how together, together. Together we can be beautiful. That's one of my lovely pieces. Then the African girls, happy African girls. Look at the size of their legs and their thighs compared to their hips. My girls, love them, love them. Another thing I thought of when I was living, should I say yes, I lived in the Middle East for a year. I purchased these motives, never ever knowing. That was five, eight years ago that today we could embed them on a nice background and show red roses blooming forever red roses thank you back again this is also fabric embedded but mounted this time mounted on a black background this is 11 by 17 it's put on a 16 by 20 for depth and um presentation this one is a, is a lovely one. I would say <laughs> they're all my favorites. I don't know which one I would think is not a favorite of mine. I am a florist by birth, and these are representations of flowers and orchids, especially for those people who cannot grow an orchid. If you can't grow an orchid, then you can get one of these because it always will be represented on your wall. Um, I'm spiritually motivated and inclined. So if you look at this, this is through the, there is a way. And if you notice, there's a way going right through. So whatever we do, there is a way. Um, I'm from Jamaica and on our several trips, Kingston to Montego Bay, we would pass through St. Anne, of course, and the men would be at the roadside selling orchids on a block. I bought several of them, which we had to <laughs> see them put the orchid in somebody's lap because of lack of space. But they would be profuse, they'd be lovely, they'd be rich, and they'd last. So I thought, you know, one night it came to me, Thelma, why not just do some orchids on a block? And uh, that came up. Then, three little birds, representative of what Bob Marley said, but this, these are done. Uh, freestyle, freestyle. Three little birds, Bob Marley song. Three little birds. Another one that's popular in my heart is Through the Woods. Because you know in life, it's not all on the beach. It's through the woods, it's climbing up on the rough side, it's down in the valley, it's on top of the mountain, so wherever you wish to go. I think this is so lovely and tranquil. Now, of all the things, blue moon. Sorry, I can't get to reach the blue moon, but that's shades of blue. Shades of blue 
and I find blue and turquoise very calming very lovely now this this is a shot of pretty pink flowers on a sphere of white and it's mounted in black and this gives light if you put this in a room and a light is nearby it sort of reflects and bounces back on you and um, you feel very happy and invigorated and matter of fact most of my work I'm inspired sometimes when I go to bed at night and I say oh yes I could do that so I have to get up I have a little notepad by my bedside I make a note of what I have in my mind because you know I don't really want it to slip me and that's how we, we, we get it going but as I say I'm divinely inspired and sometimes it slips me and I really don't want that inspiration to to remain now with these one person's interpretation of course will be different from another's but in the scheme of things it's really lovely this one of course is called black my story black my story story of blackness with beauty coming all out and coming around and echoing echoing what we do black my story that's that's a beat there speaking for us Kaleidoscope. This stands out as an orchid. And while I was doing it, I said, oh, but some people don't even know what an orchid is. It's a flower. So I decided to elaborate and go wild with it, adding all the colors, all the textures. And um, this came out and I said, huh, kaleidoscope. Love it. It's an abstract. To me, it said circus because if you look closely you can see like actors acrobats uh, animals free falling whatever you'd like to say and the coloring is it's like mystic yes this is what i call circus very lovely as well <laughs> Here we have it, Mrs. Thelma Warner in all her glory. What an invigorating moment with her. And I'm sure you had just as much fun as I did. Now I'm telling you, when you see our seasoned citizens evolving and just never choosing to give up, we always wish to support. So watch it. All our information is going to be right below her website in all its splendor. We encourage you to click, like, share, subscribe, and make sure you check out her pieces. Always, Mrs. Warner, it was a delight. And what are you saying? Thank you. I'd like to mention that this is an absolute necessity <laughs> in our home because it takes up a good amount of space. So all the little pieces and bits and pieces that you have, you can collate them to one side. And this stands two feet by three feet. It is massive. It is prominent, it is pronounced, invigorating, just lovely to have. Absolutely, I second that. Every Jamaican should at least have bird a replica of, of Bird of Paradise. So there we have it. Thank you so much for watching us in the Culture Zone. And we encourage you to do so again when we bring another interesting artist worth remembering. I am Sophia Nicholson. What good? Till I catch you again. The Culture Zone is brought to you by Danvers Nursing Institute. Wow.